resignation of Kemi Adeoshu as an act of honor, strength, character, and integrity. Now, a lot of people, they wonder, say, waiting half a way, she come outside, tender her resignation. Now, she come outside, actually give her own statement on top of the reason why she actually tender her resignation and he gets a um, relationship to do, or he gets um, get thing to do with a certificate, NYC certificate, where she be get. And based on this one, she decided to step down. Um, but she still remain for work on Friday when she tender the resignation. She finished her work. But as we speak with the hearing for me, say she don't come out from inside of um, the country. They say, um, Adele Shun's resignation shows character integrity, but APC, meanwhile, the party has described the weekend's resignation as an act of honor, strength, and character. According to the party spokesman, we be Yekini um, Nabena, in common side, talking for a statement for inside Abuja, he say, like all responsive and responsible government concerned about the truth and due process, he said the federal government, they need to under, um, they suppose look, make sure say they follow diligent investigation on top of this allegation. All this one just comes down to the resignation of the former finance minister, Kemi Adeoshu. Yes, let's not forget, say, um, for months now, we don't question the, um, whether, say, she go NYC, uh, whether, say, she get the exemption letter from National Youth Service Corps or not. Now, we know, say, now one online report, and uh, I actually um, investigate and find out, say, the certificate which they hold, they carry, say, yes, she go NYC, say it was fake, according by the online report. And we know, say, even the NYC become as I talk, say, that signature, where she gets for the certificate, and for the certificate, they write and they're saying that September 2009, nine she will get them. Say the man will get that signature will be the then uh, Director General of NYC, Yusuf Bomo. Say not be him, be they as at the time we should be get them. So there were speculations, say it was actually for she should be go Oluwole um, for inside Lagos to actually get that certificate. And now she actually resigned. Now, just to give you a little bit of a uh, uh, resignation letter, which is come as I talk, she say, I have today become privy to the findings of the investigation into the allegation made in an online medium that the certificate of exemption from National Youth Service Corps, where I don't present, say not they genuine. This has come as a, uh, as a shock to me, and I believe that in line with this administration focus on integrity, I must do the honorable thing and resign. I think a lot of Nigerians over the weekend become as I talk, say this is really, really honorable. The first say she actually take him and resign, it is very good. And secondly, some Nigerians here of the opinion say we need to still understand how far the investigation don't go. Is it really a fake um, result where she presents or not? And thirdly, some Nigerians also they come as I talk, say as regards to the constitution, uh, where come as I talk, say if you forge a certificate, especially NYC rules, you are liable to three years imprisonment. They won't know the aftermath of this resignation. And let's not forget that she's not be the first person where they don't go through certificate scandal for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, if they will put her for prison, then uh, if the law must be upheld, then all the other government officials too, they have the ones to. we don't sign, we don't fake Toronto and uh, all the other certificates, then to suppose fail, face jail term. Uh, but first of all, I would like to commend her, say she resigned. This is a, a very rare occurrence. We, know they ever, we hardly ever see government officials who they resign based on scandalous issues. That's one. Two, I uh, mean, I feel, say, she for not save herself this emb embarrassment because obviously she know uh, whether she attend NYC or not, she know. Whether she collect uh, 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 exemption letter or not, she go know. It's in her own past, it's in her history. As all these things been derived from the very beginning, she for save herself the embarrassment and for just step down. Mm -hmm. We see it happen in other developed countries. That's not the way you're supposed to begin start to do for here. Where you know, say, rather than save, rather than embarrass yourself, your name, your family, your office, the country, the party, just step down where you know say things not there as a supposed day. But now, a lot of investigations okay. don't happen, don't lead up onto this one. Now, we don't begin to say, hey, he found guilty, she's liable to serve jail term. A lot of things don't happen, she don't tarnish her own image. Even going to the abroad, where should they go now? We don't say, we both know they take this kind of thing in play. Mm -hmm. You go read your already, they'll say, oh, now the person where they say paid for this, uh, a certificate or something. All the good things where you don't do. Uh, for our place, they say a small mess, now they cause embarrassment. Now but I feel the first position on not saying a fake result. Because now, let's say she graduated 1989 mm -hmm. at the age of 22, and then when she come back to Nigeria um, in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, now she actually writes for an exemption letter. Is it possible? So she never knows saying a fake in the first place. Because right now, we don't know whether it's fake or not. Uh, and why uh, she so, never talks so anything. Many things, so many things they way, way, way they around this whole story. Now, Bernard, you talk in an honorable, to, an honorable thing we should do with a lot of people are saying. But then we also have the um, senior president who right now is also making a statement that he cannot be impeached and he will not even step down. When a person like that, they make that kind of, compare it to waiting based basis? on allegation. It's still allegation. 
Whatever it is, where it's an allegation. So whether it's look at Kemi, see what he came Kemi was a do. scandalous thing. Now they thought they thought they should get an NY certificate. Where is where is they fake? But oh, we, if the allegations we have against any polit uh, politician, be it uh, whether it's NYC, as long as it's an allegation that can hinder or spoil your image, ideally, if we were to follow due process, just as Kemi Ade should do, the person should step down. But that aside now, maybe we even look at educational career, because now she come outside for that statement where you read about her. She says she graduated at the age of 34. But if you look the history, you just said it and said she graduated at she the age of 22. She graduated in 1989 at the age of 22. 22. But for whatever reason, she come Nigeria at whatever age oh, where she come Nigeria. Yeah. Now, even when she become outside, I get a Nigerian passport. She got it when she was an adult. Mm -hmm. People come they ask say, how long did it take you to get your Nigerian passport? Because you can't, it can't be like say it was such a short time to get a Nigerian passport. Now you claim you've been a British uh, British citizen for so long. Now where at, you became an adult and uh, applied for your Nigerian passport. All this was so now questions people they ask in terms of how long did it take her was a lot of things fast tracked on her particular case to get certain things done. That question is where people they come I think now for us to wait and see the outcome of this. Now where she don't take this honorable step by resigning. Mm -hmm. Let's wait and see whether this matter they go see sweep her under carpet. I understand say a lot of means um, government officials have been involved in scandalous um, um, certificates scan scandal sorry um, in past. Let's just wait and see if this will actually get proceeding after this. To enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.